Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos una práctica simulación sin subtítulos para que puedas comprobar qué tan preparado estás. Recuerda que es bien importante que respondas en voz alta para ver qué tan preparado estás y qué tanta capacidad de responder y de entender las preguntas tienes. Si te gustaría aprender cómo responder todas estas preguntas, tengo muchos videos en YouTube con subtítulos que te van a ayudar. También recuerda, puedes considerar nuestro curso, cursosconfernando.com, en esta página, en el cual vienen más de 50 clases, más de 50 videos que te van a ayudar a prepararte lo mejor posible para tu entrevista. Van desde las preguntas cívicas, lectura y de escritura, preguntas personales, N400, definiciones y hasta cómo hacer el juramento te enseñamos, ¿verdad? Para que es lo mejor preparado. Sin importar tu nivel de inglés, podrás digerir la información, te vamos paso a paso. Y además, si tienes cualquier duda o pregunta, las vamos a aclarar sin ningún problema. Cada clase y práctica viene con material de apoyo, que sería la transcripción, las hojas que puedes imprimir, o también el puro audio si decides estudiar el puro audio. Recuerda visitar nuestra página, pues, cursosconfernando.com. Te recomiendo mucho nuestro curso para que es lo mejor preparado posible. Muy bien, vamos a la práctica del día de hoy. G24. G24. Hi, my name is Officer Gutierrez, and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. Can I see your appointment letter? Thank you. Please follow me. How was traffic? Perfect. Please step inside and remain standing. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Great. You can put your hand down and please take a seat. Okay. So let's begin with the interview. Can I see your permanent resident card, your passport, and a form of ID? There's no need to give them to me. Just show them to me. Okay, and there it is. Thank you. Now, can you please place your right hand index finger in the scanner? Okay, now can you please place your left index finger on the scanner? Perfect, thank you. Now, I'm just gonna need to take a quick picture. Can you please look into the camera? Don't move. One more. Perfect. Okay. Um, what is your full legal name? Okay. Perfect. Would you be changing your name today? All right, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Just please answer yes or no. Have you ever claimed to be a US citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Okay. Why not? Okay. Do you now have or do you ever have inheritance title in order of nobility from any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined into a mental institution? What is a mental institution? Do you owe any over to federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Do you have your current or your last tax form with you? Can I see them? Just place them in the desk, please. Thank you. Tell 
Tell me about your taxes. Usually when you file your taxes, do you have to pay taxes or you receive a refund? And how do you file your taxes? Jointly or individual? Okay. Here, here they are. And have you ever called yourself an US resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or another location in the world? Have you ever been a member of, or any way associated with, the Communist Party, with any other totalitarian party, with a terrorist organization? Have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, that you work for or associate in any way, uh, either directly or indirectly with the Nazi government of Germany. Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. What is religion? Were you ever a member of or that you ever served in, help, or otherwise participate in any other following groups, military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilant unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Do you understand the concept militia? Can you please explain it to me? Thank you. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or do you otherwise ever serve in any other following? Prison or jail? Prison camp? Detention facility? Labor camp? Any other place where people were forced to stay? What is a labor camp? Thank you. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Do you ever self-give or provide weapons to any person or help another person self-give or provide weapons to any person? Do you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? What is a weapon? Do you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Do you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that help or support people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted, and committed, or attempt to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? What is cited? Okay. Have you ever been charged with committed attempting to commit or assisting in committing in a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitated program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed in probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? How about back in your country of origin? Were you ever in jail or prison back in your country of origin? Okay. 
Have you ever been a heavy tool drunker? Have you ever been a prostitute procuring one for prostitution? Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Have you ever failed to support your dependents or pay alimony? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? What is a habitual drunker? Have you ever given any U.S. government official any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Do you understand what deportation is? Can you explain it to me? Thank you. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Okay. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who live in the United States at any time between your 18 and 26th birthday? Okay, can I see your selective service uh, document, please? Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Here you go. Okay, now I'm going to do a few personal questions. Uh, I just need some information, okay? What is your last name? Okay. And where were you born? What is your date of birth? Okay, can you repeat the year for me, please? Okay, what year did you become a permanent resident? Okay, what is your current address? How long have you been living at this address? Okay. What are the last four digits of your social security number? Okay. What is your phone number? Okay. Are either your parents US citizens? What is your current um, marital status? Do you have any papers for me, uh, divorce or marriage? Can I see them, please? Thank you. How many times have you been married? Were you ever married back in your country of origin? What is your spouse's name? Can you please spell the last name for me?
Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Okay. Do you have any children? Are your children U.S. citizens? What do you do for a living? How long have you worked at this job? What was your job back in your country of origin? In the last five years, how many times have you traveled out of the United States? Have you ever spent more than six months in a year outside of the United States? Okay, now we're going to do the reading and writing test. Here in front of the tablet, uh, you're going to see a sentence that I need you to read it out loud. Can you please read the following sentence? Please write the following sentence. Flag day is in June. Flag day is in June. You can use the whole screen. Flag day is in June. Okay? Perfect. Thank you. You have approved your writing and reading test. Now we're going to do the civic test. I'm going to ask you 10 questions you have to answer correct, at least six of them. Okay? Name one right only for United States citizens. Who was president during World War I? What is one right of freedom from the First Amendment? We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? What is the political party of the president now? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Name one state that borders Mexico. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? Perfect. Okay, again, please answer yes or no to the following questions. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you understand the food order of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Okay, one minute. Okay, now here in front of you on the screen, you're going to see three pages that I need you to sign. Uh, please scroll down and press the pink button, and then you can sign either with the pen or your index finger. There's one. Let's do it two more times, okay? 
Please scroll down. If you want to read the document, you can read it and tap the pink button and please sign. Okay, one more time. Thank you. Okay, here are your documents back. And um, also here's your letter. Congratulations, you have approved your citizenship interview. Now you're just gonna step outside and wait a few minutes because they're gonna call you. You're gonna have your old ceremony today. So congratulations again. And um, if you have any questions for me, let me know right now. No questions for me? Perfect. You can step outside and wait because you're going to have your ceremony today. Congratulations again. ¿Qué tal cómo te fue con esta práctica? Sin subtítulos es un poco difícil, ¿no? Pero recuerda que si te gustaría tener las herramientas de cómo contestar esta entrevista y otras, puedes considerar nuestro curso, cursosconfernando.com. En él te damos todas las herramientas necesarias para responder este curso y más. También ayúdanos dándole like a este video y suscríbete para que no te pierdas ninguno de los videos que tenemos en el futuro. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, te deseamos mucha suerte, todos aquí en nuestro equipo. Si no la tienes aún, no te preocupes, todos juntos vamos a trabajar, incluyendo a ti, para que llegues lo mejor preparado para tu entrevista. Nos vemos pues en el próximo video. Chao.